okay, I'm here to teach you how to fish. I'm not trying to give you a fish, okay? This blueprint does not work if you don't know the reasoning behind it. So eating clean, why, why is this gonna help? It's going to reduce the amount of body fat on your body and it's going to maximize how much muscle you show and how, how much of a V-taper you have. The best way to eat clean is to experiment, okay? Find a diet that simply just works for you, okay? If you don't experiment, I don't think a diet is gonna work specifically for you, okay? There's a lot of things that you could try out. For me personally, I just cut out the refined carbs I had all the refined foods. I cut out all the like saturated shit in my life. And then what? I ate dubious amounts of protein. Okay. One thing that I tracked, I kept consistent throughout my aesthetic body journey process, whatever we want to fucking call it. I ate a shit ton of protein. The best way to maximize hypertrophy and maintain functionality and functional strength is to go to the fucking gym. Most people just go to the, the gym, right? They, they just go to the gym. They show up. That's a good step towards the right direction. But here's the thing, they're skipping out on their compound movements. Do your fucking squats, do your deadlifts, do your pull-ups, do your fucking, do some push-ups too, okay? Do your compound movements. I'd stay away from the bench press. I've moved more towards the incline dumbbell press. So I simulate my upper chest because honestly, like I have this imminent fear. And I've heard a lot of people, I've had a lot of people around me injure their shoulder because they just overloaded their, their shoulder joint on the bench press too much. The bench press, honestly, arguable because the fucking, you can get that like, like fucking arch in your back type powerlifting arch. That's not healthy. So the incline dumbbell press, okay? Don't skip out on these compound movements. If you skip out on this compound movement and you just do the fucking bicep curl, you're the, you're the fucking teenager that in, in the fucking gym and then you have the MILFs walk by and they stare you down because you're just fucking, you're just doing fucking bicep curls the entire one hour session you're at the gym. That's fucked. Don't do that. Sleep well for recovery. You already know, bro. Here's the caveat. Sleep a lot because sleep efficiency is a thing so nine plus hours what's the the fucking 80 percent of nine eight and a half uh, something right you're at least getting the minimal recommendation of sleep that's enough but you got to factor in sleep efficiency so nine plus hours every night and i'd recommend a push pull leg split because this is what's going to maximize your volume in the gym whilst minimizing your recovery time by getting the most bang for your buck out of your recovery time you're hitting the same muscle group twice at least every fucking week so that is you're hitting legs twice a week don't skip legs or else you're a failure don't skip cardio either maybe do some cardio on your rest days i don't care the point is pushable legs most balanced in my opinion balance for hypertrophy will give you that volume and give you your bang for your buck for your recovery so that's a blueprint as to how you get jacked and aesthetic as a teenager so go on, do everything I just taught you, and get out of here.